Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your iRobot Roomba Combo J series robot vacuum in mops. We're gonna be using the iRobot app and go over all the different map settings and features that we have that we can edit and customize. If you're interested in the Roomba Combo J series units, the links to them will be in the video description. Now we're gonna jump right in. Here's our Combo J9 Plus already set up and we're gonna select that map icon. You are able to save multiple maps here if you want to place it in a new space, maybe you have like a basement, a main floor, and a second story, things like that. You are able to move it around, it will save multiple maps. You can pick and choose which map you're using at that time, and you don't have to move the main base unit, which is great. So we have that option there. If you're interested in multi-floor mapping, this is capable to do that. You'll see also we have our three dots here. We can delete our map, conduct a mapping run, or cancel back out. Let's go to our main floor, take a look. We haven't finished the map yet. We're gonna be doing that right now. But say you have a mapping run, you'll wanna save the map. It usually populates it after one pass. And in our case, we have notifications that there's some unnamed rooms. So this is what it'll look like for you. We got those three dots again. We can delete the map, rename it, save the orientation, reset obstacle sensitivity with our J series Roombas. Then you'll see further down plus minus icons to zoom in or out. We can change that orientation right there, right? So we can go all around however we want. And I think I want it like that. And then we can always bring it back to center as well. That's what we got with this guy right there. We have our legend here. It will show carpets, different floor types for you. And then you'll see at the bottom, room dividers, room labels, and zones. So we have three different feature sets to go over. So first up, room dividers. Everything looks good here. I'm happy with how everything was divided automatically, but there is one more divider I want to add right in this area. So we'll get that positioned how we want. We'll call it right there. We'll hit save, and it's going to add a new room. Now that's going to need to be named as well. So we got our two bedrooms there. Hey, that's smart enough to know that is a bathroom. Love to see that. That made my life easy. This one is unnamed, so we'll go back out. Now we finished our dividers. And really quickly, if you want to delete one for whatever reason, there's a little trash can there. Just select it, and you're good to go. But in our case now, let's go rename all of the rest of the rooms. So this one's going to be a bedroom as well. We'll just call it a guest bedroom. And then we have a bathroom here. We'll just call that bathroom. So we just finished labeling everything, right? Really easy there. Hit done. And you're all set and ready to go. Enter your own custom one if you want or pick and choose from the presets that they have populated. But everything's set up there. So that's how you label. And now let's look at zones. So for this, we have a couple different options. Keep out zones. That's going to be your red boxes here. And you can drag and drop and reposition as you see fit. You can also add multiple zones. So let's just save that one right there for fun. That's going to be our red box. Again, just build this out depending on your environment. Maybe you have a litter box, maybe a bunch of shoes, cords, things that are easy for vacuums to get tangled on. Maybe you have sensitive decorations, right? Like a Christmas tree skirt, things like that. So you can go ahead, you can set the keep out zones. Maybe you have a really fancy rug or something that you just don't want the mop to ever go on or near, or a particular area on your floor you just don't want it to ever mop. That's gonna be your purple box right there. And you could have multiples of those built throughout your house. That's your no mop zone. And then maybe there's a particular zone that you always want to have cleaned more so than the whole room. You can set up these zones right here. We can name it. So is there like a front door or something like that entryway? Oh, there's front door. Hit save. And then we have our clean zone. So that's going to be a targeted area you want even more focus on and control. So that's what you got at the bottom there. You have keep out zones, no mop zones, and your cleaning zones. That's a look at the map and your customization options. We'll go back to the main app right here, and I wanna show you in the favorite section. So everything that we have will populate here. You can vacuum and mop everywhere. You could just vacuum everywhere. In this case though, we can add a new favorite. What do you wanna do with our newly customized map? Now we can do room by room clean, or we can do zone by zone cleaning. So we could just clean the front door, we could clean multiple rooms, or we could clean everywhere. But you got your map here, and all of your settings right there that you can then add 
to your favorites. So customize your map. Hopefully you can set it and forget it and then enjoy different favorites depending on how your cleaning routine shapes up and looks depending on your environment and household.